So this might sound bad, but uh, who are you? <laughs> Only sounds a little bad from your defense attorney. So what you're saying is, detective, is that you have nothing that proves these glasses are my clients. Uh, something like that. He's the best detective. I'm not thinking, I just blurted out objection. It's a nervous tick. What's going on here? No idea either, sir. But I'm breathing heavily either way. Oh, that I hadn't even noticed. And I'm such a good detective. That glove is the key to this whole case. Yes, bluffing to the max. Don't say it out loud. I told you, we're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Everyone knows you can't find out everything you want with scientific investigation. Sometimes you have to guess or have faith. It's got that really scientific-sounding name. You mean a microscope? <laughs> oh, why are you why are you making this guy your witness? Um, I'm guessing. I'm guessing the hand that is not in the mitt uh, would be the dominant hand. I can't say for sure because you know the sports ball. What's more, he saw the very face of the culprit. Eyewitness testimony is the most reliable testimony ever. Oh, I know what to do. I heard you can fix something like this with a really strong shock to your system. Hang on, let me get my taser. Using your power and influence to keep the young people down, I see how you work now. Okay, Boomer. I remind you that I am in no way a prepubescent boy out on a walk with mommy. Anyway, please testify to this court what you saw during your walk through the park. I like how the, the camera actually cuts him off. Yes, and if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy is lying. But he seems so honest and trustworthy. You're just a third-rate biased fool. I guess I can't expect real smarts from you. This is the kind of guy that would have... Um, that sort of blog YouTube channel combo, you know, where he speaks truth to authority. I looked at that clock, and that's how I knew the time. But if you ask me, this whole concept. Oh, here he goes again. Your Honor, it is a very simple mistake a glove for a bunch of bananas. No, I don't think so. <laughs> You're one of those people, yes, you know what I mean. One of those people. And he's off again. How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? Well, that looked like it hurt. There's clearly a 15 minute gap there. Do you deny it? <laughs> that, I think that call out is as much in shock of the line of questioning as it is that he is choking himself with his scarf. Are you <laughs> indicting the witness as the real murderer? Of course, that is precisely what I'm doing. What I was doing all along. I mean, that looks like it would really hurt. Looking up the phone numbers on a person's phone is, wor is a worse crime than murder. <laughs> How dare you! Laughing. Oh dear. Uh, he's he's doing a thing. Eh. Freak. Oh dear. Well, that didn't seem good for him. He's become paranoid and has lost all ability to make rational judgments. We can talk about him like this because he's unconscious right now. Hey. I like how the court has confetti. So I was six months old when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building. I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods, failed at almost every test I've ever taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster, and never won or even tied at a game of tic-tac-toe. Wow. Yep, you're cursed. Please stand at least six feet away. Next time we meet, I'll only be an unlucky person instead of a goddess. Yeah, that's the spirit. Aim low. Um, so what is this Maya Intelligence Network, anyway? The tabloids. 
So the intelligence network of most people. They just have a whole bunch of reports. They just record, you know, they've got one for raining cats and dogs. They've got one for it being really sunny. They record them once and they just reuse them as they need to. It's like a, it's like a banked animation, you know? Saves money. Flickering lights. I guess they're candles. Oh, that's a haircut. So why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good, sir. Ooh. Rolled her eyes right it back into her head. Oh, that odd. She is my daughter. Now then, what was it you were about to say? <laughs> With a threat, slightly threatening edge? You hear me? They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? I kind of feel like that sort of statement needs to be followed by, like, full-on mad scientist laughter. Yes, sir. My name is Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local precinct. Smack! Get to the point already. Explain to the court the details of this murder. She has no patience. I grow tired of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish country. Foolish, 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 foolish. Now see here, proceedings are run by... <laughs> proceedings are run by, run by the one with the weapon, sir. Huh? How so? Smack! Don't just stand there! Hurry up and tell the court what transpired today. Yeah, she's in charge. 100% in charge of this scenario. You want me to put together the scenario all by myself? Do as you're told, peon. So the hole is actually creating a huge hole in your testimony. Yes, please explain yourself, because I don't get it either. Fatal? Flaw? Whip? Very interesting. I would love to see where this flaw is, or you shall be whipped. Yeah, I figured there had to be a reason. Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything is your job. Oof. I am very bad at my job. Oh, and rest assured, your punishment will come later. Um. Okay, so she claimed he's going to get punishment later. That doesn't look like an unhappy face he's making. 